There's a crisis in small towns all across North Carolina. Areas are losing portions of their educated populations. Two thirds of graduates in North Carolina Anthony cluster in the Raleigh Durham area or the Charlotte Metro area, and that leaves dwindling rural communities to combat the effects of so called brain drain. Nine on your side's Madison Forsey is the nine on your side newsroom now in Madison. What exactly is brain drain? Again, it's simple. It's the effect of educated people leaving a smaller area to move to a big city. The migration away from towns leaves the people living there without a workforce to make the town better and to help public servants solve problems. But this is where Lead for North Carolina steps in. This program kind of sits at the middle of what our communities need and also what young people want. Lead for North Carolina is helping rural communities get back on track. Local government leadership, particularly in rural, small, and economically distressed communities, is rapidly aging, often lacks representation from its diverse population, and is struggling to attract that next generation of talent. With 70% of local government leaders at retirement age, the UNC School of Government stepped in. They started the postgrad program three years ago. They placed 28 fellows across the state and are about to place 25 more. The program puts extra manpower in places like Pollocksville. Some days I'm, I'm working on grants and writing letters to a representative and the next day I might be hanging flags on Main Street or I might be down in the sewers trying to release a blockage. Fellows across the state have helped towns and cities bring in millions of dollars in grant funding. To see projects that have been uh, sitting on the shelf uh, for a long time and uh, or projects that weren't necessarily shovel ready and to get them to shovel readiness. It just shows the importance of this uh, um, program. Local government leaders say the COVID-19 pandemic emphasized how important local government is. When you have when you start small, you can have a bigger impact. I also talked with the with Pollocksville's mayor Jay Bender, who tells me the program is a win win all around and is a definite success in his town. He says having LFNC program to fund a full time position opens up a lot of doors in the newsroom. Madison Forsey nine on your side.